Good evening, my name is Robert Hardy. I'm going to do, be doing my reflection video for the consulting project. Uh, I'm going to talk about a couple of different areas. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about some of the biggest pains of uh, uh, dealing with the project. Uh, I would say for Desert Blossom, which is the company that I worked on, uh, it was kind of like a lack of marketing. Um, their internet presentation seemed very dated. Uh, was not updated at all, you know, compared to some of the other sites out there uh, that you could see for the um, that offer a boutique as well as uh, hair cutting services. Um, I would say also with Desert Blossom, it was hard to figure out kind of what was their niche, what made them stand out against the competition. Um, if you're going to run that kind of business, I feel it's very important to have a clear uh you know, advantage, a competitive advantage that you offer that the competition does not offer. And I get the boutique thing, but you know, the, the presentation needed some help. Uh, definitely, especially with the pictures online, it just looked very, yeah, it was just very dated. Um, I would say also the, you know, the biggest obstacle for, for this, you know, the team and doing the, the last seven weeks was getting everyone on the same page, getting everyone together. Um, I work a lot. I'm, I'm a general manager for an optical. So I work about, you know, anywhere from 50 to 60 hours a week sometimes. So lining up my schedule with, um, with Austin, Chris, Seth, uh, getting us all together was challenging. We managed to do a couple like Skype meetings, uh, but email was very effective. We managed to have some long chain emails going back and forth on ideas for uh, Desert Blossom. Um, I would say, yeah, the email worked. And then I would say it was great. Austin was great. He, you know, I think of him as the project leader for this. Um, he came up with ideas here, let's do this, this, and just kind of took, you know, followed his lead. He was quick to respond, easy to work with. Um, the expectations were definitely set. Um, as far as, you know, some skills I learned here, um, being in, in the field that I'm at, uh, on a daily basis, I am the leader. And it was nice not to be the leader on something and to just kind of appreciate uh, being a part of the team and kind of see, you know, from the other side. It's been a couple of years where that's not the case. Obviously, when I'm in those management meetings, you know, once or twice, you know, a couple times a year, you know, you see the higher ups and then, you know, that kind of changes. But on a daily basis, when I go to work, I am the leader. Everyone expects me to know the answer, to know how I'm going to deal with something someone has a problem, I'm the go-to person. I, I, there's no one to go to. I'm expected to know, okay? Um, so as far as, you know, running a business, um, it was good to see from the outside, you know, doing the consulting to see, okay, we got this company called Desert Blossom over in Mesa, Arizona. What would it take for them to go to the next level and to see, you know, and, and that comes back to the niche is very important. If you're gonna start your own small business, how are you going to set yourself apart? You got to have that competitive advantage because you got to go blue ocean strategy. You can't go red ocean with the big companies because that's what the red ocean wants you to do. They want you to compete against them and they got more manpower. They got more, you know, volume. They have all these built in advantages and you're never going to win that battle. So you have to have your niche and be blue ocean. Um, and that was definitely be, became apparent just from seeing what Desert Blossom does and being able to look at the different websites out there, the different companies that do similar things and uh, how they've kind of grown. But it just makes me think, okay, so Desert Blossom, they need to develop their own logo. They got to develop their own, you know, um, membership program. They got to find a way to build customer loyalty and have that word of mouth spread, great customer service if they want to succeed. Um, cause small businesses tend to fail early on if they can't find that niche. Um, lastly, I'd like to say it was a pleasure working with the team, working with Austin. It was great. Uh, Chris and Seth, it was, it was great to work in a group and definitely something I've learned from some of my friends who are a little bit further advanced than me in the education field so far, like they've earned their masters or in graduate programs that I feel like this class was a good preparation going forward towards that. Cause a lot of it is in teams and groups. And that's something at my work, when there's something that needs to be done in the district, you got to work as a team to get it done. And that's just realistic to the real world. So that's, uh, that would be my video. 
uh, look forward to, uh, I guess I graduate soon, so uh, whatever comes up in the future.